there. Welcome back to my channel. It's an Amber thing. I am Amber. I just wanted to uh, make a quick follow-up video to the last video that I had made um, with regards to JW Abuse Hotline. And um, I had, you know, a short, small conversation with um, a couple of you in the comment section <clears throat> of that video. And um, Informat had asked me a question and I felt like it was a very valid question and it made me think and so I kind of wanted to bring that up and talk a little bit about it <coughs> excuse me um she had asked me why I was just so trusting with somebody that you know I found online and I was like hmm you know why why was I so trusting why did I just like pick up the phone and call and offer my services and be all in and not even you know take the time to second guess or research or anything and so I kind of want to share that answer with you um so me as a person I, I I'm trusting to a fault and it's gotten me in trouble a lot of times um, I am, and I feel like I'm a very trustworthy person and I have very pure intentions. I created this channel. I wanted to create community, not only for, at the time when I first started the channel, it was more for, um, you know, I was going through a really tough time, <clears throat> excuse me, where I was grieving, um, the loss of my kid's father and, you know, my my partner for the past, you know, 10 years. And I promised in the very beginning that I would always be very honest, upfront, and truthful. I guess honest, truthful, same thing, but, you know, very forthcoming. And um, I have 100% stuck to that promise. Um, I started talking about, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses and the organization and my experiences within the organization. And I have kept to my promise to be, you know, very truthful and forthcoming with regards to, you know, the stories that I tell. So my intentions, you know, are are very pure. If I And I've said it several times, if I could help just one person, I feel like I'm doing a good job. And that's what I want. I want to be able to help others. So, you know, especially, especially um, with ex Jehovah's Witnesses, it's a very delicate situation. Um, coming out of a cult is a very, very delicate situation. And so I guess my first instinct is to feel like all of us ex Jehovah's Witnesses have so much in common and we've experienced so many of the same things that it's okay to trust them. But the truth is, with everybody across the board, um, there are some who do not have your best interest at heart. There are some who will take the fact that they believe you are going to be trusting and use that against you or use it to their benefit. And um, so I, it, it's, it's my, I just want to put it out there. You know, the warning is there. Um, <clears throat> I didn't see any illegal, you know, uh, activity taking place, but then again, it was a very new, you know, um, new business type of relationship that I was trying to, to have there. And for all the right reasons, you know, I, I truly want to be able to be there for any person who is trying to come out of that, that cult. Um, and so, there were, for me, red flags. And, um, you know, I in the last video I had mentioned, you know, that I had seen a couple of videos after the fact and I felt, you know, like they were creepy. And I would like to translate that because I got a comment on there that was like, oh, you know, it was creepy, that was it. And it took you five minutes to say that. <laughs> and it probably wasn't even said that way, but that's kind of how I took it. Um, <clears throat> It, let me, let me translate creepy. My intuition was saying, get the hell out of there. Something's not right. And like I said, I'm going to listen to my intuition way too many times in the past. Ha I have allowed myself to push, you know, the intuition out and, and it, it, 
and not listen to it and I've gotten myself into trouble. So I'm not doing that anymore. I, during several conversations that I was, that I had had with the, you know, Kevin, um, I had, you know, the voice in my head going, hang up. This is not okay. Something's not right. You're not being told everything. He's holding back. And for that reason, you need to cut ties right now. On, you know, and so, yes, I'm putting this warning out. I'm following up the other ex Jehovah's Witnesses who I really truly believe have pure intentions towards their audiences when speaking about this subject um, and who have truly been within the organization and um, have experienced the trauma that we speak of. Um, there was also another point that was made that I think is really important to say this is that we live in a day and age where information is so easy to get. We have the internet. We can look up anything. So um, for myself, I'm going to take, take that advice. Um, and before I, you know, call up anybody and say, hey, you know, I want to help. I want to help. I'm going to research and figure out what's really going on with that situation before I try and involve myself. I owe that to myself. You owe that to yourself. Don't trust everybody. You can't. We don't live in a time where anybody, where very many people can be trusted. So just because they're, they're saying that they're there to help you um, doesn't mean that they are. Doesn't mean that they're not. Doesn't mean that they are. Um, and because they say that they're ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, doesn't mean that they are. And that they have gone through the same traumas or things that we have been through. So we really just need to be careful. So so my whole point in all of this 6 minute and 57 seconds <laughs> is to say, um, do your research. Don't jump to trust anybody. Um, just because we have similar backgrounds doesn't mean that we all have the same intentions. Beware. Beware. Just be cautious. It's, it's not a bad thing to be cautious. Not at all. So I hope that helps clarify some things um, about where, you know, I came from with regards to jumping into that um, business type, um, you know, relationship. And, and I hope it helps. I hope it helps clarify some things and I hope it helps, you know, you to do some research before you jump into, you know, any kind of business relationship or even allowing anybody that's saying that they're there to help you that, you know, you need to find out what they're really there for. So that is all I have to say on that topic. I am done with it um, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.